Hey, good morning. And um, welcome to day nine. It's Friday, Black Friday. Did a funny post last night. Um, but this morning, not so funny. And, um, you know, I was challenged to start this uh, video journal. I'm entitled it The Walk. I almost want to retitle it The Real Walk. Don't want to get on here and feed you a bunch of religious crap and what could happen or this or that. But just be real and give an honest outtake of where I feel like the Lord's speaking to me and what He's doing. And hopefully that can be a little bit of a help to you. Oh, one quick note. The music we're listening today, I am so happy to announce, is from somebody local right here in the area. Ricky and Angel Cortez. They have a new album coming out. I think it's out even now called Dream Again. Powerful. Real deal. Anointed. Psalmists who sing from their heart. Just real. I encourage you to get that. Go online. Look for Look for Angel and Ricky Cortez, and the album is called Dream Again. So good. Let me turn that down just a little bit. I can sit here and just listen to it over and over again. But uh, what I want to talk to you this morning about is, oh, and also, I try to do these in one take. If I have a little technical glitch or something, I'll redo them. Um, and I do prepare a little bit in my mind, but basically this is just raw. This is just what, you know, is on my heart. And it's like God gives me something a little bit morning and then just turn the video camera on and let it go. And uh, so any disclaimers for what might come out, I'll make right now. But um, what I want to talk to you all about this morning and to myself, this is like a, a feeding in. This is Weldon talking to himself, and you, if you're watching, just get to be a part of that. But um, I woke up this morning, had a really good Thanksgiving. I missed my kids. I haven't seen them all week, and um, believing for changes in that area. And, and the Lord's kind of spoke to me that uh, with some maturation, some timing, that things are going to change there. But I don't really know if that's going to come through a court system or this through his hand moving. Either way, I'm trusting him in that. But um, on this Friday mid-morning, I got up and I heard the words, conquering, I can't. And um, as I got up this morning, I was like, man, ooh, just a little bit overwhelmed, just looking around. It's not about blaming where you are or how you got there, but you know, owning that, but man, what now? What? How do we step through those areas where we just feel like we can't, or man, we just don't feel like we even want to? You know, for so long, I've hidden in caves. You know, I just try to cope and get the survival mentality. And God, in His mercy, His providence, allows us to walk things, to bust us out of those caves, to break off those glass ceilings. And just, you know, and a lot of times I've fought that process. But I just want to give you a couple steps that I'm learning along the way. And the first thing is just be honest. Be honest with God. Be honest with yourself. Hopefully, you have some brothers or sisters, relationships around your life where you can just put it out there. And uh, I'm learning that because honesty fosters relationships that honor one another. I'm not talking about doing drama, vetting out, vomiting out. Though that can be good at some points in times. I'm learning that's not always the most productive. But just being honest, being real, being vulnerable with your pain, being vulnerable with where you're at, being vulnerable with your anxieties. And then... Uh, as you can see, this is always a step out here for me, is just to allow myself to get still. You know, in the stillness, our pride is confronted. 
whether it's the pride of like I'm doing it, I got it all together, I don't need anybody's help, or on the other side of that where we're like, God, I can't, I don't even know where to go, or what to say, what step to take. You know, when we come into the presence of a holy God, the Bible says we're open, we're naked, we can't hide anything, we're kidding ourselves as we think we can. And, you know, the lies that sometimes we tell ourselves and project out there that anybody with any kind of level of discernment can see through. When you come into the presence of truth, truth himself and his son, at that altar, it just kind of just fades away. And I used to run from that, but I'm just learning to uh, embrace my nakedness in the fullness of his love. And um, knowing that in that love that he's got the way out. Another important thing for me has been is the ability not to get back here looking in the rearview mirror as we talked about last time, but also not being so anxious about tomorrow, not projecting anxiety and fear and allowing evil forebodings to come in. And what you going to do? What, what, what if this happens? What if that happens? You know what? The only place faith is active and present is in the present right now. I've been learning a lot. We've talked about being led by peace, but surrendering and submitting to the Lordship of peace in my heart. God, I don't know what you're gonna do about that. The Bible says don't be anxious about anything, but pray and let those things be known unto God. And he says that peace that surpasses understanding shall come in and mount guard over your heart. It's important. Be present. Be present. I guess one last step is be courageous. Surround yourself with fellow warriors, princes and princesses, who knows what it's like to fight. Or open, you don't wear a mask. I'm so thankful for that in this season that God is brought those kind of relationships into my life and I think they were there before but I was the one who wasn't coming full front full frontal open with that kind of stuff and father knows what we need when we need it and um, trust him that he has those relationships for you if you don't see those around your life why don't you try being that person you'll be blessed by it so I know this is random, this is long, but I want to be real. Because when we're real, when we're honest, take the walls down and be vulnerable, that's where the process starts. And just closing the day, I thought of the story of the prodigal son he took all of his inheritance. Give it to me, Dad. Get, look, this is completely selfish. Completely self-consumed. And burned it all up living for the world. Ended up in one of the... Excuse me. In a pig's den. Eating slop. Said, you know, at least my father's servant, they have a place to sleep. They have food. And he went back and he's saying, you know, I could just go back as a servant. Not even come back as a son. But every day since that son, that prodigal left, there was a father. In the hindsight, looking out over the lands, going, maybe today. Maybe today my son comes home. And at a distance, when that son was probably coming back with his head down, bruised, broken, busted, and disgusted by the world by his own choices, Father saw him. And Father ran to him and he clothed him with his robe. He put the signet ring that meant identity. This is a son. 
This is my son. And I want to encourage you. As I always say, whether the mountaintop or the valley, come on. The Bible says only in returning, turning back to our Father, that we'll find rest. We'll find His salvation, His deliverance, His wholeness, His redemption for our lives. One translation says, stop your silly efforts to save yourself. Look, prime example, another one. What can I do? And there are things that we need to do. But it's about right here. Listen, I want to pray for you today and to share from this place that I am in. Father, I just thank you today for your sons and daughters. Some who feels like, I can't, I don't know, I don't know where the next step is. Father, I pray for your peace. And Lord, I pray for a grace to return. I pray for your love to fill the hearts. Maybe some of those out here who just befriended me or got on this website or web stream or whatever you want to call it. What the hell is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's real. And there's a God who loves you. A heavenly father who's been calling out and waiting for you on the horizon ready to run to you. Surrender. Raise the white flag. God is good. He's not a taker. He loves you. Has a good plan for your life. Trust him. Surrender. And watch him take all the ashes all the parts of your life and do something awesome. God bless. Hang loose. God loves you. See you tomorrow.